Hello and welcome back. I haven't posted in a while, but here I am testing out my new supplies that I got for my birthday back in April. Um, there was a big sale on at Eckersley's and I managed to snag some good stuff that was left. So I managed to get some polychromo Faber-Castell pencils. So I'm testing these out for the first time, outlining my coral. And then you'll also see that I'll use my new gouache colors that I managed to grab. There was a few left, but better than none. I managed to grab a bunch of the colors of Winsor Newton, different series colors. And I realized I had a good coordination of colors between the pencils and the gouache. So you'll see that I'll use these. I had originally done a coral sketch in my other random doodly sketchbook that I just used my fine liner pens in. And I really liked how it turned out. So I thought I'll just do a full spread in my nice sketchbook using these new supplies. I hadn't done a full spread yet in actually, oh, I had done one, which was just like a brief, fun kind of mountaineer landscape practicing layers of mountains and such, which I'd wanted to try for ages and I finally gave it a go. So now I wanted to do five coral pieces over the full spread, one of each color. So as you can see, I am outlining. I like to keep the pencils really sharp as I'm going. As you can see, I get halfway through outlining coral and I want to resharpen it again. That's something I like about those mechanical pencils because they stay pretty sharp the whole time and you don't ever need to sharpen them, which is really good. But yeah, I really enjoyed working with these pencils. I don't work with pencils too often. Sometimes if I'm doing a painting, I will add details like extra shading and stuff with pencils, which I've got a full box set of Derwent colored pencils that I've used but then when I saw these ones and I know these the polychromo ones are really good for layering and things like that especially over paint so I wanted to grab some and just see how they go getting there nearly finished off just doing the purple one and then I'll finish off with the last one which is like a you could say like a rose kind of color it's not really too red or too pink but really nice color so finish that one and then I think I'll get into the painting I haven't had much time to work in my sketchbook the past few months. I ended up doing this probably like a month and a half ago maybe. Um, you know, life just gets a bit crazy. Been like trying to focus on getting a commission done, which is like a set of four, which hopefully I can show you soon. So here I am prepping the new colors onto my palette. I noticed some of the consistency is funny like this pink color it was really thick like there's not enough binder in it and then the orange and the green there's lots of binder like maybe in the tubes I feel like sometimes it separates a lot and it's hard to kind of mix them to make the viscosity or the thickness kind of consistent throughout the colors which that's all right you fiddle around with it a bit sometimes you use a skewer to kind of mix it in the tube so here I am starting the first bit of the painting. I had planned out color schemes for these. So I'm starting dark at the bottom or just with the, the true color of what it is and then I'm slowly adding white to make a gradient so it is lighter at the top. And I'm doing this with each of the coral pieces. So as you can see along the top, I've coordinated each of the tubes with the colored pencils, which is really cool that I managed to coordinate these colors with what I bought because there wasn't much stock left with this big art store moving sale. Everything that day was 60% off. They'd been doing a sale already over a few weeks. They started at 30% and each week they kind of upped it. So a lot of the good stock had already been wiped out the week before. But as long as I got something, it was all good. So if there's a chance to get Windsor and & Newton and nice polychromo pencils, 60% off, I'm up for it. So.
I really liked the thickness of the orange. I think it had a lot more opaqueness to it than like the first pink one I was using. It might have to do with what type of tube it is. I don't really understand or have the knowledge on what the different series of these paints mean. I just kind of picked them up, but obviously there's like a difference maybe in the quality or the opaqueness of what's in it and things like that. I find that this one was very opaque, which I liked. The brush I'm using as well was one of the new brushes I got from the sale as well. I think there was a bunch of other brushes I nearly went to buy and even at 60% off I didn't realise I had pulled out the most high-end expensive brushes and were still very expensive so I ended up putting them back but I really liked the shape of this brush, it really goes down to a nice fine point but can still cover a large surface area if you're pushing down and using all the kind of bristles at the end but um, I could really get in for those fine details. Usually go between like a rigger brush along with one like this but um this one kind of allows me to do two in one as you can see I'm slowly lightening up the green this one also has a really high opacity as well, which I really like. It's a really nice shade of green too. I really like the pastel vibes that they're giving off once they get to the top. I don't always like working with pastels. I really like the boldness and brightness of like the true opaque kind of bright colours, but I think this pairing of both with that and with the pastel -y colour it ends up at the top. I think it's a really nice um, composition. pencil outline kind of gets hidden as you start doing the painting especially at the bottom but as you get to the top they can still show through with how pastel like the color ends up which I like I really like keeping the outlines in my paintings so I like that you could still see that through a bit with this purple I really liked this purple color that I ended up getting I'll write down the colors of these tubes because you can't really see them here they might show up a bit later anyway when I show the tubes up close Sometimes I feel like I can really kind of switch off while I'm painting once I've kind of got the base sketch and outlining done because then it just feels more like a colouring in exercise and once you've picked your colours you can just kind of relax it back into it, not overthink things. I try not to overthink what colours I'm going to use too much. If I think I want to do something I won't be like, oh will it work, will it not work? I kind of just normally go for it like, can it really go that wrong? So. to the last one this was the paint that was really thick and felt like it didn't have much binder in it but once you kind of water it down a little bit and really mix it down to make it smooth it came out nice
Actually, as I start adding the white and you get that normal consistency into it, mixing it with the white, it started to come along. I didn't realise, but as I was painting this one, I realised my phone space was full, so you'd be painting and then you realise that it stopped filming ages ago, so this one gets a little bit chopped, but that's okay. Got that many art photos and videos on my phone that even with good space it still fills up, so I'm trying to get more organised in backing them up onto a hard drive and onto my Google Drive to clear up my phone for more filming and photos. So that's the end of the base. Um, here you can see the colour coordination patterns that I came up with for adding the details. I wanted to make sure I used each of the different colours as a different detail colour for each of the corals. So I planned what I wanted to coordinate. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do the, the rosy pink with the other pink and vice versa. So as you can see I picked green to do the details on this first pink one. So I just do the pencil outline first to pick where I want. It was kind of very randomised anyway, but I like to plan it out anyway. And then I'm going in with the green gouache to actually fill that in. Pink and green are always like a really nice colour combination. I think when people think of painting avocados, they always get paired with like a pink background and things like that. Just as an example. Originally I was thinking if I should make the detail parts gradient as well to coincide with the gradient of the coral but I thought if I just make it like a solid colour it will look nice over the top of the gradient so I just kept it solid green the whole way down. And then next for the spotty details, I've gone with the orange. So on to the next one, I'm going now with the light pink colour that I used to outline the first coral. So I'm kind of going like a colour back for each. go in with the paint I really liked how this pink colour looked over the top of the orange. I remember when I was younger and I used to go to Bunnings and see the, the paint swatch cards you could get and I remember picking out like this pinky colour and an orange colour and thinking I want this for my bedroom and that's what this reminds me of. You can see I'm going in with the purple now for the details. I think I was really happy with the way I colour coordinated this combo of colours. Um, so far it's between these two already done, I know it's my favourite. I'm pretty sure by the end it still remains my favourite one. On to the next, so now I'm using the rose colour pencil over the top of the green. I'm just planning it out and then I'll go in with the gouache. One thing I really like about gouache is just the layering capabilities that you have with it. I'd always started out like working with watercolour and as you know you can't really layer light over dark with watercolour. It's always going darker over light but I really like the chance to because due to the opaqueness of gouache that you can just go over with a different colour like putting this nice pink over the green
So I'm going in with the other pink as well for this one. So now this one is both pinks with the green. As I was saying at the start, pink and green always go nice together. And it just worked out that two pinks in one were going on this one, which is fine. Now onto the purple, I'm using the orange for the shadowy highlight bits. I really like how opaque this orange is. I really like how it pairs with the purple. It's just like the orange coral piece where I had the purple highlights. This is like a reverse, I guess. And then using pink for the little highlighty spots as well. See, I start using the green, but as you can see on the first pink coral, I had already used green. And when I was looking at my color chart plan, I started looking from the wrong coral plan first. And as you can see here, I go whoops, as I'm meant to be doing purple. So I thought no matter about the pencil, I'll just go back over with the purple and just keep going. they're both pink the first and the last corals even though they're different pinks I just got didn't look closely enough when I was looking at my little plan but that's okay easy fixes it's just my sketchbook so it doesn't matter anyway instead I needed to do the green highlights now I'm going in with the green highlights and then we'll be on to the finishing touches finishing touches I just wanted to add some white highlights across all of the coral pieces just a few spotty texture just to add that little bit extra depth on top Voila, they are all done. In the end, I was really happy with how the pencils and the gouache coordinated with each other. Really liked seeing the different color combos. This was a really good exercise to see how the different colors work together. In the end, I think my favorite one was the orange coral. I really like the warmer tones. I'm always drawn towards more liking the warmer tones. So I really liked that orange. And then I think that the rose color with the purple highlights really all tied it together really nicely. And then the color palette from the top. I really like how color palettes look at the end. I always get a bit sad when I have to wash them, but that's okay. I've got to move on to something new. Sometimes I like to use the paint as much as I can. Here you can see all the colors that I used, the actual color names. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.